Lesson 2.2, Use Picture Graphs. A picture graph uses small pictures or symbols to show and compare information. This is a picture graph. The title is up here, and notice how each word in the title uses a capital letter. It's how we get to school. Each row, right here, walk, bike, bus, car, has a label that names one way students get to school. At the bottom, we have a key, and it tells us that each smiley face is equal to 10 students. We can skip count by tens and see that 10, 20, 30 students walk, 10, 20 students bike, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 students ride the bus, and 10, 20, 30, 40 students get to school by car. To survey means to ask questions to gather information. We can say when we're filling out a picture graph that we're surveying to gather information or we're giving a survey to collect information. To find the number of students who get to school in a car, we count each smile face as 10 students because the key tells us that each one is equal to 10. We skip count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. We know 40 students get to school in a car. How many fewer students ride a bike than in a car? How many fewer is a clue to subtract? Bike is 10, 20, so 20 ride a bike, and car is 40. We can do 40 minus 20 is equal to 20 fewer that ride a bike. We can also look at the smile faces and see there's only two here, there's four here, and we know there's two less that ride bikes. And that would be 20, wouldn't it? So we can use subtraction to find it, or we can look at the picture graph and count how many less pictures there are. How many students were surveyed? We skip count by tens and count all the smile faces. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So that's 150 students were surveyed. We could also add each row. We can add 30 plus 20 plus 60 plus 40. The 60 plus 40 makes 100. That's equal to 100. Then we can add the 30 plus 20, which is equal to 150 students. We can use half of a picture or symbol to stand for half the amount of a whole picture or symbol. This picture graph is about pumpkins we grew. We can see the people that grew them are Lisa, Tim, and Chris. We can see how many they grew. The key tells us that each pumpkin is equal to two. But look, Tim has a full pumpkin and a half pumpkin. If each full pumpkin is equal to two, then a half one would be equal to one. We can skip count by twos, and we can add one more for a half pumpkin. So Lisa grew six, two, four, six. Tim grew two plus one more, that's three. Chris grew two, four pumpkins. Let's look at this picture graph. It's about favorite lunch. So students were asked if their favorite lunch was pizza, hot dog, taco, or hamburger. Notice that there's no information for hamburger. We'll do that in a minute. The key tells us that each smiley face is equal to six students. So how many students chose pizza? 
we can add 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, or we can skip count by sixes. 6, 12, 18, 24. We don't see the amount for hamburger, but if hamburger is more than taco, but fewer than pizza, how many chose hamburger? Well, we use whole symbols and half symbols. So we use whole symbols or half symbols. It says it's more than taco, and taco is, th is three smile faces, so that's six, 12, that's 18. So hamburger will be greater than 18. It says it's fewer than pizza, and pizza is 24. So we know it's greater than 18, but less than 24. But we have to use whole symbols and half symbols. Hamburger is 21. We can use three whole symbols plus a half symbol that equals three to be 21. It can't be the same as pizza, so it can't be four symbols. It can't be the same as taco, that's three symbols. So it has to be in the middle, so it could be three and a half symbols, which would equal 21 students. We can easily see which is more or less to compare amounts. And the key for each picture graph is for that particular picture graph. The key could say it's equal to 10, 5, 2, 4, in this one it's equal to 6. And we can use whole symbols or half symbols, and each word in the title is a capital letter. We can finish this picture graph and fill in the pictures for hamburger by putting three and a half symbols here. Now it's greater than 18, but less than 24. In our next lesson, 2.3, we're going to make picture graphs. I hope you're having a really good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.